there have been 121 hours and 23 nays. A House debate that lasted just over four hours ended with the impeachment of the Texas Attorney General. Even representatives from Collin County, Paxton's home, voted in favor of impeaching him. Honestly, just it's very sad to see that the chief law enforcement officer in our state has been misusing his power. And I can only hope that the next person that holds that seat will be a person of honor and integrity. Mahala Paliza is a Democrat, but Collin County Republicans agreed together. They released a statement which read, sufficient evidence indeed exists to vote to commend articles of impeachment. And this was an incredibly difficult vote, as for most of us, Ken has been a longtime friend. We talked with a North Texas Republican who disagreed with those in Collin County. Brian Harrison is from Midlothian. All we heard on the floor of the House today, unfortunately, was hearsay that was at a minimum three levels removed. That's the thing that I'm most concerned about is making sure that we maintain our inalienable rights and that powers of government are not wielded against people um, just because they hold a, a different political ideology from them. The General Investigating Committee never interviewed the Attorney General, never interviewed top staff or anybody else. While some Republicans complained about the process, Another said the attorney general was pressuring people until the final moments. I would like to point out that several members of this house, while on the floor of this house doing the state business, received telephone calls from General Paxton personally threatening them with political consequences in their next election. Now, before the vote today, former President Donald Trump and Senator Ted Cruz were among prominent conservatives rallying behind Paxton on social media. But as you heard, um, obviously that did not affect the outcome today. Teresa?